All right, guys, box number two from my buddy Calico Basin here. Again, we have some gifts here. We have some trick dice. So, yeah, that's pretty shady. Uh, we have some more poker chips. Those are fun. Another deck of cards, this time from the Golden Nugget. Those are fun. Another postcard here, this time with the Hoover Dam. Looking forward to going and seeing that. Another love note on the back. And a Hot Wheel, a glow-in-the-dark one, because glow-in-the-dark stuff is cool. Hot Wheels are cool. I actually used to collect Hot Wheels back in the day. All right, let's get into the watches. What do we have here? So we have a couple loose ones here. Of course, we have this guy here. It's very cool looking. I'm guessing it's, I'm guessing it's a, oh, it started right up. I don't know. So if you guys know what that is, let me know. But looks pretty fun. It's got the red star, all that good stuff. And this guy here is the uh, good speed. This is a, a watch that I've actually had on the channel and toured and everything like that. It has a manual wind movement. So that has returned to me. Oh, there was another gift over here too. I'm guessing by the way this is wrapped, this is actually a shot glass. Yeah, let's see what it says. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's appropriate. So thank you very much for that. Back to the watches. We have a CWC. Let's open this guy up, see what's in this one. Nice quartz CWC, awesome case shape, 60 click bezel, so full video on that one, did I do a video on that one? Some of these I may have already done and he actually picked up through my discord, it's, it's hard to say. I'm um, not sure what this blue box is, mechanical red star, is this the Oh no, check that out. That's a 42 millimeter with the seagull. These are fun. I actually was thinking about picking one of these up. I wonder if this is the uh, sapphire crystal or not. I'll have to ask Calico if this is the, because you can get it with the uh, acrylic or the sapphire. This, this might be the, this might be the sapphire one. Super cheap, genuine leather strap here, but very cool, fun watch. You got some cool watches you sent over, man. I'll tell you, I just don't know where to put them. I gotta, he's got two cubbies over there now, special cubbies in my cubby arrangement. So let's open up this Hamilton. See what model this is. It looks like the 42 millimeter on bracelet automatic khaki. This thing is classic, super thin, just one of the, the all time greats, guys. I think Hamilton, Seiko, you know, all these, these are all like just great, great first entry or um, either even later in your collection. You know, this one here, we got a Christopher Ward. Let's slide it open and see what we have. Looks like C60 Trident Bronze Pro 600. Let me see if I can get it completely open. I'm running out of room here. Bear with me, guys. Oh, it's got some patina on it too. Let's see if I can get it out of these little elastic things here. Ooh, that's nice looking with the blue. I'm usually not a fan of the blue dial watches, but the bronze with the patina like that, that's cool looking. Nice and smooth. And then the last one of this one, box two, is the Timex S1. I have wanted to check one of these out since Timex released these. This is my first chance to even look at one, so I'm excited to see this. This is one of those ones that I think a lot of people are like, that's too much money for what that is. But I hear that a lot with a lot of different watches, and I tend to actually disagree when people say that. I tend to think that there's all kinds of watches at all different kinds of price points for various of reasons, and it is what it is. It might not be the price that you want it to be or that you are willing to pay for it, but that doesn't mean that the price isn't justified, especially when a lot of these watches that these people are talking about actually sell out. So it couldn't have been overpriced. That 
that's a really cool looking watch. I like that they put that jewel on the dial on the dial like that. That's pretty fun. Sets it, gives it a unique flavor. Totally not necessary, but very cool. These are all really cool watches. I'll have to check this one out. I might have to I might have to secretly wear a couple of these a few times. That's a really cool looking watch for an automatic Timex. That's just cool. Now it has the uh, Miyoto movement in it, if I'm not mistaken. So they didn't do anything crazy or anything, but they did put a 4 hertz movement in it. These are great fun watches. I look forward to video on all of them. So I'll see you guys in the next vid.